Everyone, Petal is Bless here. Welcome back to my channel. I have this vase and I'll be using some of these applique um, gems from Totally Dazzle. Doesn't this look lovely? I love their new gems. <laughs> and I'll be using some E6000 to help glue it down. Now the applique gem come with um, stickers on the back. It's a very strong adhesive sticker that it has on the back. But you know, you can also use some E6000 if you'd like to glue it down or just use the sticker that it has because it is very strong. Now today's Wednesday video is not a Cricut inspired video. Your girl had a little mishap in her house. I have a leak pipe in my ceiling and so everything is just turned upside down. So no Cricut DIY for today, but I'm coming on to share with you these glam DIYs that I have featuring the gems from Totally Dazzled. Okay, so now that our gem is down, our applique gem is down. I'll be coming in with some blue mirror tiles <laughs> and I'm just gonna place them onto our vase. And remember they come with adhesive on the back so you could just lay them down. Now that the mirror tiles are down, I think I'm going to bring them up just a little bit higher. So I'm just going to measure some more. And then cut them and place them onto the vase. I'll be adding some of this glam chain that I have here <laughs> going around our mirror tiles and I'll just be using some E6000 to place them down and all the items that I'm using today will be listed down below in the description box so you guys can go down there and see where I got everything from And here's the finished look for DIY number one, our glam blue mirrored tile vase. <laughs> I'm so in love with these new applique gems from Totally Dazzle and this one that I have on the vase is called Grace in silver. They have her in bronze and in gold too but I took her in silver. I absolutely love how they look and they are such a nice size. And they even have some that are bigger than this one. Yeah, some are smaller, some are bigger and I'll be sharing them all with you. It's a nice and elegant vase. I think it looks absolutely lovely. And I love it with the blue mirror tiles. I think everything together looks lovely. So leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think of today's DIY number one. And tell me what you think about the applique gems also. <laughs> now for DIY number two, I have this jar here. And I'll be using some of this um, black bling ribbon. We're well, using some hot glue to glue it down. So I'm just going to be gluing the ribbon going around the bottom part of our jar. Next, I'll be using some of this silver sheet here which I cut into strips 
and they do have a self adhesive on the back so I'll be using that so now I laid them down like this at first and then I changed my mind and did this pattern instead so I like how this one looks much better they're closer together so that's what we'll be using on the jar so I just went around so now we have the applique gem another one to go on this jar and this one is called Sophie and she is an antique bronze and of course they have the self adhesive on the back so I'm just gonna use my exacto knife take it off and then place her onto our jar and now for the top part of our jar I'll be going around again with some more of our glam silver sheet now I'm adding some more of the glam black ribbon going around the top part of the lid of our jar And here's the finished look for our DIY number two. I love how it turned out. They are um, apothecary jars. I can't pronounce it right. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but they're nice jars. You can put your trinket or anything that you would like in it. And I love the applique gem from Totally Dazzled. <laughs> this one is called um this one is called Sophia and she is in the antique bronze I love how she looks OMG they look so nice all right everyone that's all your girls got for you today thank you for coming on and seeing the DIYs that I have to share with you, although they're not Cricut inspired DIYs today, I hope you did enjoy what I had to share with you. And leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think of the gems like I asked you before. The new gems from Totally Dazzled, will be, the link will be down below in the description box. So remember, as always, to stay blessed from Petal is Blessed and I will catch you on the next one. Bye bye everyone.